call a meeting to order at 5.30. Everyone have a chance to review the minutes. Yes. Move that we accept the minutes of June 18th, 2014. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Do we have any bills? No bills. Correspondence is there. Yes. Mosquito control will be doing what, Gail? Killing mosquitoes. <laughs> they have an electric. They don't project. do a very good job at that. <laughs> they have photos of they doing this. 80 Riverbrook Drive. I have no clue. Riverbrook is out off of is River cool? Street, right? It's off of River Street. Um, Steve Cody lives on it. Or he did live on it. You know River Street? Church Street. I know where River Street is. Left yeah. on River, and River Brook goes off the side. We have a drainage. Do we have any issues with that? It doesn't matter. Well, they just give us a notification. Yeah. Is there your head correspondence as far as this goes, all of this? Yeah, the, um, the first one <coughs> is the. Uh, Does I have it? I, I use it for site inspection. Is the uh, plan for lot two Cody Lane when you go going under that lot on your right? Uh, the uh, the plan that you approved <coughs> shows a substantial fill on the property. Uh, they they changed engineers from Rim to uh, Thompson Falland, uh, who've been doing some work in town, and they changed their septic system to a Presby system. So they're actually lowered the elevations by almost three to four feet. Wow. Okay, and then uh, instead of all the fill in the back that they would have used to provide a, a bulkhead for the basement, it's going to be a walkout basement. So they should have come here first to you to uh, uh, let you know that there's a modification. Uh, but the uh, limit, of, limit of construction is exactly the same. I went out there this afternoon to take a look at it. Um, they're going to be mailing to the commission uh, two copies of the plan, but it's it's really an improvement over what was approved. So what was approved was fine, but this actually right. cuts back on the yeah, amount of fill yeah. that they're going to put on still, the property. Do they still have to come before us from a modification? Brand? Yes. Okay. And, and I told him that. A minor modification. Yeah, yeah, definitely, because it's an improvement. And then the other one uh, has to do with. Um, uh, a request by GB Sons because uh, we couldn't really get them on the agenda, but it had to do with the um, lot 142-A. So if you're looking at our uh, number 95, the existing one, it will be the one to the right. They uh, changed the uh, uh, proposed foundation. They're making the foundation larger. That's what you yeah, and um, and the. Uh, plan that is submitted to the building department for a building permit is different from what was approved by CONCOM and I told Gail she shouldn't sign the uh, permit because it's a different different application, you know, different plan. And then that plan, remember there was a, when they filled the ditch, there was a replication that was done at the whole back. Well, the plan that they submitted for the uh, building permit doesn't show that replication area. So it shows that they have more setback for what not, when in fact, the, the setback has to be measured from the replication area. I think it is. We looked at it tonight. We did? Yeah. On the plan that they submitted? Because when you look at both, the replication area was actually on the other lot. It showed 107 feet. Right? It's 107 feet from the wet one. Who's that one? Shown the, one the, the, the old plan and the new plan. <clears throat> I mean, it doesn't really matter at this yeah. point. They still got to come before us for a yeah. modification. Yeah. Still, so. it, because there's an order of conditions, mm -hmm. right. it still requires them. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> is this the one that they're submitted for building permit? No. Okay. This is That was the original. Okay. 
Yeah. All right, anyway, they're going to come back. So, uh, yeah. Anything right. else? Yes, one more. Yeah, and then there were the uh, Cootie Lane, down man, lot number four. The one for uh, that, uh, um, they also changed the, the changing builders as well. And they're making a modification. What I, uh, what I don't understand is why they have their well so far away from from the project area, involving a lot more disturbance. But that's what was approved. And uh, they actually, they, on this one, they are raising the site instead of lowering. So that's not gonna, that could not be a minor. Uh, well, be cool if you decide. It doesn't change the footprint. The footprint of uh, just higher. So that will come in. That should come in as a modification, as opposed to just the word sign off. Okay. Anything else? Oh, well, the, uh, the it has to do more with the certificate of compliance. So, and you have that as a separate item, right? Yes. Are all those scheduled to come before us in August? Well, that's one of the others that can come. Right. Mm -hmm. they and they have, they're, and they're they aware of anything yet. Okay. Yeah. They, they have to okay. notify. Okay. That's it under okay, site visits if necessary, there's nothing, right? Annual reorganization. Well, I don't do reorganization. <laughs> you guys do reorganization. Do you want to deal with the order of conditions first and then do the organization? Or just get it done? You can handle it. Okay. <laughs> Make a motion that we turn chairman over to Bill Reynolds. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Congratulations. Here's your point, though. <laughs> Didn't let the grass grow, did you? <laughs> yeah, take your pen, too. I didn't chew it. <laughs> okay. Well, and continuing with the re reorganization, um, I need a co chair or a vice chair. I make a motion we approve Kevin. As co chair. Second. All in favor? So All right. Spelling right. So, Kevin, you are now co chair. Well, that's it. Let's play musical chairs. <laughs> this chair was too high for me. I'm going to move over one. No, I'm comfortable. <laughs> Just broke chair. Don't have to move, David, right? Don't have to move. Were you secretary? Guys, yes. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You want to be secretary? So are we good? <laughs> Motion to appoint Paul Dooley, reappoint Paul Dooley as secretary. We got a secretary already. Second. Okay. <laughs> Done. Do it. Uh, order, let's issue the Read issuance of order conditions for RK. Did we get the, the plan? Yes, they, so they, uh, okay. they came out uh, that Friday. Okay. Yeah. So couldn't have issued it because it came after the year meeting that you had right. posted. Okay. And the special conditions are in here? Yes, sir. One has to do, uh, uh, just if you take a look at it, it has to do with the uh, that swale the and then the uh, aprons. Right, right okay. now, the uh, well, they have the aprons of the uh, those are stone pads yep. going from the water quality to the um, uh, to the uh, stream. They need to pull the uh, right now. They have it going right to the stream, and I think if you, even though you require 25 foot uh, buffer, it's not practical at that location. Okay. But I'm saying that you should have at least a five foot of uh, separation from the bank okay. to the uh, to the apron. Okay. So it's not dumping directly into the stream. Is this the same one we also discussed the uh, the signage at that um, right. that outlet pump? Yeah. But if you if you do that, my question is, if it's not riprap down over the bank, won't the bank just erode? No, because the bank the bank is already vegetated. Okay. Yeah. So the the idea is, if they're gonna they're gonna be maintaining that, if they're gonna be working, then that will be. Perpetual maintenance on the bank of the stream. And you can't really alter the bank. I mean, you can allow up to 50 feet of alteration, uh, but 
If you add them up, it's 150 feet. Yeah, um, I believe EA consultant. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, David Baker, RK Centers. Okay, thank you. Uh, congratulations on your reorganization. Well, we'll, um, we'll see about that. <laughs> um, EA consultant Frank Posma, who was here earlier in this process, had measured the impact of the bank and had told me that the total linear footage of those ripraps were under the 50 feet. We are not proposing pulling back the five feet at the very end as it goes into the drainage ditch because it's stabilized and, and you know, mm -hmm. would cause more disturbance. So all our, and that was reviewed with Mass Highway as well. So these plans don't reflect us going in and pulling out the, call it the last five feet of each one of those existing okay. ripraps. And I would um, ask that we not be required to do that because I think it's established and working and would cause more disturbance. And it was my understanding that the total, total linear footage was less than 50 feet of impact. Okay. Uh, well, just a point of information, uh, it's, it's your ch choice what you want to do. But in reality, the hearing is closed. Yeah. So you really shouldn't be entertaining more information from us because you already closed the hearing. But, but we also have an order of conditions that so stipulates you vote, the right, you gotta, right, right. So it's up okay. to you to discuss what you want to do. Mm -hmm. with. So how do you want to handle that? And then the other th uh, item that we mentioned has to do with the fact that the issuance of the order, until you vote to eliminate the fine, which you, which you really haven't done, the order is saying, because just in case, if, the, if we were to be appealed or what have you, the order says that the issuance of the order does not take away right. the fine. Okay. So. Okay. So you looked over the plan, and it, it uh, has everything like the utilities marked so that yeah, they have everything. The only, the only thing I want to also point out to you is uh, well, that is the reason why uh, uh, we recommended cutting everything back. Because right now, from the loading dock to the uh, to the stream, they have a pipe going all the way from the loading dock straight to that stream. Mm -hmm. Any more discussion on that? What you, what's your thoughts? I'm, I'm afraid that the disturbance to the bank will cause more erosion, you know. If, if we pull it Because these aren't going to, I don't believe these swales can handle every event. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it's still going to work as it has historically. I'd be afraid of removing what we have for stabilization just, just and terrible. causing yeah. up, yeah. giving it another chance. Yeah. Yeah. Now, then the question I ask you is, if they have to maintain that, they can't do anything unless they come back here. Okay. They can't do anything unless they come back here. They can't do anything as far as maintenance where the the trees are planted and all that, or just the well, stones, most of the trees are just where the stones the are going. Yeah, where the stones are going. Yeah, and you also have to the think stones are actually already there. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. right. That was the part of the oh, violation. There a, there's just a check dam or something, isn't there? But the, the check yeah. dam that they're doing is upstream from that bank. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right from, from the uh, well, on the uh, proposed uh, water quality swale. You also have to understand once this once this is complete, technically the other side of the fence belongs to Mass Dock. Right. Mm -hmm. So is there a maintenance plan? I don't believe that there is. Is there? No, I didn't submit a maintenance plan. Yeah. So it would have to be a maintenance plan by Mass Dock. Some, well, it would have to be something that was discussed before any work was to proceed over there. Mr. Chair. Yeah. I don't know if I'm allowed to. Yeah. You can. Um. Well, you can't. can't offer any new information. New for, right, right. But you can discuss what Yeah, this is not new information. Okay. The um, pipe that Azul makes reference to that's now on the stamped engineer's plan is the original pipe that goes back to 1973. Mm -hmm. And in our work plan to put in these swales, we also are including um, putting in hoods at the two trench drains that connect to that pipe that then discharges out. That was review with Mass Highway to say what else can you do in the event of a spill on the plan. Um, the signage is called out. The, uh, the um, 
the signage at the kill switch in that right. Bed Bath and Beyond yeah. dock, yeah. the, the um, narrative that was referenced here. Right. And um, once and when the order of conditions is issued, if you recall, Mass Highway said they will not issue their permit until all other permits are in place per mm -hmm. state regulations. So we would deliver the order of conditions to Mass Highway, and they said they expected to issue a permit in two weeks' time after, after, after receiving the order of conditions. Does that mean we need to change these order of conditions? Uh, no, not if you have uh, a... You, uh, uh, yeah, you can... Uh, 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 yeah, if you if you if you sign it, then you are requiring that you know that they pull back. So, right. so you can uh, uh, make a motion uh, to eliminate that portion. We have a motion to do that. Make a motion to eliminate that portion. Sounds. All in favor? Aye. 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 You okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so moved. Removing that from the. So do they sign tonight? Yeah, you yeah, could, yeah, and then you just have to redo, you just you just redo, redo, redo that, that special. Yeah. Okay, you just I'll make a note here. Gotcha. On that, okay. So we need a motion. So I need a motion so to so approve so the so CLC. Yeah, as amended. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion that we uh, approve the uh, order conditions as amended. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Right. Then you have to record it after 10 day business yep. days. You put it at the registry, and I have to get a copy back. Okay. No problem. And I think um, we probably, and I understand the enforcement order stay in place till we finish till, everything. Till I, I would think we're probably talking towards at the earliest, the end of August, maybe early September, before we'd be in a posi position to come back and okay. tell you that, you know, just for your scheduling purposes. Mr. Chairman, while he's here, I have one question. Yep. Um, I happened to drive by today, and I noticed that a couple of the pine trees have already died. I think they're the pine trees. There, um, um, Mr. Chair. Yep. Through you to answer the question, uh, we have um, had our tree guy out there on the arborist. Two, there, there's one species that that's definitely distressed, and it's because of the um, saturated soil. I was out there today before the meeting and I marked on the as-built plans which ones they are, but we've had an arborist looking at them to see what can be done. Um, Mass Highway is, a, is also aware of it and um, literally you can just, you know, it's 90 degrees out, we haven't had a lot of rain and if you push down with your foot, you go down about an inch and it's saturated and that's after all the swales are done. So. Um, we have, you know, we have to abide by Mass Highway to, you know, make sure these things survive until next year. Right. And um, I think probably the reality is that um, I'm probably going to have the uh, water tested that's coming out of the head wall, and I'm probably going to have the soil tested because of the, you know, 30 years of winter sands that were in those drainage ditches and mosquito control just kind of cast them to the side. So I'm not sure it's the greatest quality soil, but if we have to replace them, I think, I and mean, I just kind of got the heads up about this today, I think I'm probably going to be recommending a much smaller tree that will have a chance of survival mm -hmm. and, and acclimating to the conditions. But we thought the ground would dry out more quickly than it has, but the underlying clays and things, and maybe that soil, it, it, yeah. Well, it's only one species, the pines, yeah, but I think it was the red oak. So the blue, the blue stakes. The pine was all right. I looked at, it. yeah, the pines were okay. But um, we even were talking about well, should we come back and ask to put drainage ditches. It's just we're not going to get equipment back in there at this point. So you know, I would come back to you guys with a recommendation and 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 Mass Highway as well, but. I think maybe the species is sensitive to something there mm -hmm. because it's not all of them. It's just that one type. 
and um, well, let's wait for your robbers. Yeah, and and yeah. Mr. Chairman, yeah. this was brought to my attention earlier today. 50% um, of the Red Oaks are dead or Distressed. very close. No, oh, I, I didn't get I didn't get <laughs> that close. So it, it's a serious issue going on. And he was going to do the test on and see where it goes. I mean, obviously, we require the trees to be alive. So before any fines were lifted. Right. Right. So, so we're aware of it. We'll keep you up to date. Okay. You know, we'll do the swales, and then we'll kind of see how the summer goes and, and what this, you know. you I would expect some, you know, would not survive in a planting like this of this size, but, you know, not 50%. So something's going on. We're going to try and get to the bottom of it. Let's wait for his obvious report and decide what we want to do then. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Do we want to uh, continue with the enforcement on it? Well, that's just yep. this deferred until yep. the, the next meeting. Yep. Okay. Uh, request for the compliance uh, DEP file number SC two six nine zero eight. 8372 Queen's Circle, map 12, partial 212A 11. Yeah, the. Uh, Does anybody, that's the one you looked at. Yeah, they, they're fine. And now um, you have a policy of uh, requiring two cuts or what have you, but I mean, nothing in the regulations require that. And they're not going to get any cutting until somebody's actually living there. <laughs> uh, you know, get rain until get rain. Yeah. Uh, but so. They had to see some of the stuff, and they put the uh, they put the signs that we asked for. They put the uh, bounds that we asked for. So, okay. Has the hydro seed did it take? I mean, you have you don't have a huge growth, but and then but you also do have a little buffer between the actual work. They didn't really work up to the 25 feet. Okay. So they actually have more than the 25 feet. So you're satisfied that compliance? Uh, yeah, okay. it's, up to, it's up to you guys if you want to, but I, my recommendation is you, I have no problem doing that. Okay. So, Mr. Chairman, I do have um, the certificate of compliance ready to, for signatures tonight because yeah, we, our next meeting isn't until August, yeah. so that way we could have it, have it all Let's set tonight. So if you want to vote to issue it tonight. Okay. I have a motion. You think it's all stable enough that it's not going to have an issue? No, no, because you don't really have a slope like this. It's not like uh, the one that we looked at on the carry shield, remember? Yeah. When we went to carry shield where you couldn't get that, uh, this one here is very, very, very flat slope. And also keep in mind, that is the one, even though they didn't change it, that is also the one that they were, Walter Hewson had come in here and go, uh, I don't know why I flagged it that high. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. the wetlands is flagged much higher than it should have. So when did you do a site visit on that? Do you remember? That was Friday. Friday. Okay. I have a motion. Um, what do you want to do? You want to go look at it? I'm, I'll go with that. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Yeah. Unanimous. Okay. Well, then do they need a vote to issue? Mm -hmm. Do they need a vote to issue? Just well, that's just what they did. Okay. Yeah. Site visit date on it. That's why I was wondering. Yeah, Friday. Yeah, because that's why I threw the plans. Yeah. Do we need to read on the formal part because these are both have been opened, right? Yeah. Yeah. They have to be read. Do you have the information? Yeah, let's go. Once I get that back, yep. then we'll turn around and go with the formula. Are they gas first? Yep. Okay. They're not even here, are they? I think that's oh, that's right. Okay. Um, they don't have any green cards, but they don't have um, the tear sheet needed. We don't need the green cards. They don't need the green cards. No, no, I said no green cards. Right, yeah, because yeah. there'd be too many green cards. <laughs> <laughs> Just I'll, the tear sheet. I'll call 138. Yeah, we're, we're okay with that. Next up. Okay. Formal. Paul, do you want to read and open the formal? You have to read. The top part of the 
Just, just that, nothing yep. else? Uh, he, once he gets up, yep, we have to have the tear sheet. After that gets up there. Okay. okay. All public hearings and meetings heard by the Rainham Conservation Commission on Wednesday, July 2nd, 2014 at 5.30 p.m. in the Rainham Veterans Memorial Town Hall, Donald L. McKinnon Meeting Room, 558 South Main Street, Rainham, Mass. are relative to filings and joint hearings and or meetings under the Mass General Laws, Chapter 131, Section 40, as amended in the Town of Rainham, Wetland Protection Bylaw. And this is the request for determination of applicability. Yes. Columbia Gas of Massachusetts, North Main Street, and Emerald Street. Right. East, excuse me. Did you get the tear sheet? I get, yeah, Paul no. gets the tear sheet. He's going to read it. <laughs> All right, check. <laughs> <laughs> check the date. Yeah. That's right. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. Rip. It's really, it's really a tear sheet. Let's see. We want to. Do That's do do points do. off. <laughs> it's all right. right. Pretty small, That's, too. It looks good. good. Mr. Chairman, yes, I need to be excused. No, don't let him. <laughs> no, I do. Yep. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> good the day. Right? You're leaving? You just get started. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. All right. So, make sure I read the right one, right? Okay, legal notice. Notice of public hearing, Conservation Commission, Rain of Massachusetts. In accordance with the Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 131, Section 40, in the Town of Rainham Local Bylaw, the Rainham Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on Wednesday, July 2nd, 2014, at 5.30 p.m. in the Town Hall, located at 558 South Main Street, Rain of Mass. On a request for determination of applicability filed by Columbia Gas of Massachusetts, the applicant proposes to install approximately 4,750 linear feet of plastic HDPE natural gas pipeline and request a determination from the commission from the commission whether the work depicted on the plan is subject to jurisdiction under the Wetlands Protection Act and the Town of Rainham Wetland Bylaw. The property is owned by the Town of Rainham and beneath portions of the North Main Street, Elm Street East, Pleasant Street, and Lakeshore Center right of way in the town of Rainham and Bridgewater. That's it. Okay. Thank you. There's copies of the plan. Yes. Okay. State your name and you, yes. need to, you need to state your name. Absolutely. My name is Joshua Bose from Merrill Corporation. I'm here representing Columbia Gas of Massachusetts for this project. Uh, we submitted an RDA application to the Conservation Commission for a gas main project uh, in Raynham. The, the route of the gas main is, um, is starting on North Main Street just south of 495 uh, and extending along North Main Street beneath 495 into Elm Street um, where it eventually goes, the, the route goes into Bridgewater on Pre Pleasant Street in Bridgewater. The, uh, there are wetlands along the route. There are some wetlands in Bridgewater associated with uh, the NIP, Lake Nip and Nicken, I think it's called. And um, also there's some wetlands just south of 495, bordering vegetated wetlands. Those wetland areas were flagged by Brad Holmes, Environmental Consulting and Restoration. Uh, and those flags are shown uh, at the end of the packet, uh, on the plans in the end of the packet that were submitted to the commission. We are proposing to install uh, a total of 4,800 linear feet of six-inch polyethylene or plastic gas main. Um, the gas main that's going, the, the route beneath the Route 495 is going to be uh, directionally bored or horizontal, hor horizontally drilled. Uh, the remainder of the route that's within, say, North Main Street and Elm Street uh, is going to be installed with, using what they call the open trench method. Uh, essentially, it's either on the side of the road or the shoulder of the road or beneath the pavement, the edge of the road. A trench is excavated two to, three, two to three foot wide, three to four feet deep. There's a sand bedding placed in the bottom of the trench. The pipe is placed, and the more sand is placed. The roadway backfill is placed and compacted, and then the trench is patched with pavement. Um, at the end of each day, the entire length of the trench is patched with the exception of where the road plate is, where they left off that particular day. Uh, so there are no exposed trenches left overnight um, for this project. There's no work during rain conditions either, so that's one more measure that um, helps eliminate any potential erosion issues. There are no stockpiles left uh, in the buffer zones overnight. Um, 
there, there will, you know, no material will be left overnight in the buffer zones. Any other any material in that area will be trucked off site. Uh, there's filter fabric placed beneath the catch basins um, that are down gradient of the work, and there are they do use storm waddles, uh, silt socks, and the, those are placed at appropriate down gradient locations. Um, they have to be careful, obviously, blocking driveways and whatnot. So it's a lot of that's field placed, um, you know, according according to the field conditions. I'm going to stop here and try to answer any questions the commission may have. I do have one. So I'm looking at these uh, maps. Here. So we're actually going under the highway. Under yes. Not by the overpass, but actually physically under 495. You are correct. Okay. Yes. I was just looking at it. Looks like it comes down towards uh, the Good Value Furniture on the old road before no, before the highway was put in. You are correct. Right. That, so that was my. I, I'm looking at it like. Well, I'm not from. You were saying under. 495, I didn't know if it was under the overpass, along the overpass, but above the freeway itself. No, so it's going under everything. Actually under, under the actual hard top of the highway. You're correct. Okay. And there's nothing there now. This is all net new? New, sir. This is a new service. You're correct. To provide the gas for the new complex being built on 104. The Lakeshore Center? Yeah. Yes. How big of a name is it? Six inch. Six inch? Yes. High pressure or? I believe it's low pressure. It's not low high pressure. pressure. No, so, low pressure. So there is currently gas on the Wainham side, and we're just continuing it on to yes. get to, okay. Yeah, they stop just before we get to the highway. He's yeah. continuing. Okay. Over Chestnut. Does Chestnut Farm have uh, gas? I don't know. Yeah, they do, yeah. Who's buying it? They do. We'll stop oh, later on there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can, when, when do you plan to start? They like to start within the month. Um, we, we've received approval from the Bridgewater Conservation Commission, so this is the last. They're pushovers. We <laughs> <laughs> caught them on a good day. And completion date? This um, this project they can do about two to three hundred linear feet a day, so this is going to be a good month's project. Um, if I'm doing the math correctly. Um, yeah, at least a good month project. Pretty straightforward. Any questions? Where's the tie-in on the Raynham side? Tie-in on the Raynham side is just, just south of that development. I think you guys called it, was it Chestnut? Chestnut, Chestnut Farm. Farm. Yeah, just yeah. south of that development. I mean, it's at the very bottom of Sheet 1. Uh, you know what? I apologize. The, uh, the legend's covering it. If you look at the key, the key sheet, which is the first, the first color plan. Yeah, I believe it's that one. Yeah. Yeah. It's right there. Yeah. It's just at the bottom of the sheet there. I think it's right about where the uh, the water department just yeah. put in their thing. Right. Right, right in there. Yeah. yeah. Right. So the street's gonna be torn up for several months. Yeah, they they're usually in the shoulder of the uh, shoulder or right on the edge of the road. Um, and it's only a three foot wide trench, so the the traffic you know, the traffic shouldn't be too bad. Famous last word. <laughs> You don't drive <laughs> <laughs> have you got a chance to review these? Yeah, we have some the recommendation in Bridgewater, and that's negative determination. Okay. Yeah. What about right um, where, I think it's right on, it might be, uh, they might be on the Bridgewater side already, right where um, it comes down close to the, closest to the nip itself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get enough shoulder, because remember, okay. the, uh, the, when you put it at a uh, six inch, it's usually the pipe diameter plus two feet. So, you're not talking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you 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 you're gonna be still on the road. Right. The road outlay. So you're not talking. Okay. The only thing they may hit there is a little bit of water, because there was a little bit of a drainage. Um, where they go by that thing called uh, the furniture, Rosina's furniture. Yep. Yeah. And the closest point to the nip, there's a little bit of a swell that goes right there. Oh yes, yes, yeah. So yeah. you could you could have a little water oh, issue right there. Yeah. 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 Remember those little gardens, huh? Yeah. 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 But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Okay. You've already had Bridgewater approved approval for this. You're correct. Yes. I think that was my uh, only area of concern. I think from uh, the Chestnut Farm area yeah. down through the highway, the only part that really was any concern is right there when it started hitting the water by the nip on the Raynham side. But it looks like most of the impact will be on the Bridgewater side. <coughs> right. Mm -hmm. so, like you said, you know. 
they're going so fast. The, the dirt barely has a chance to get warm there, and mm -hmm. it's filled back in. Okay. Do we have a motion then? Motion. Well, we have a couple in the audience, and see if well, anybody in this one. Yeah. Anybody in the audience concerns with this effort? Motion to approve. Second. A negative determination. Yeah, no. Negative determination. That will be negative number three. Okay. Did you get that? Negative number three. Negative number three. Second. Oh, we were the second. Oh, we were the second. Or the second. You were the second. All right. He's the third. All right. All, right. All, in, all in favor? All right. All right. So moved. Okay. And I also have this one ready to go. Be <laughs> signed. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. Have a good one. Great night. Happy yeah. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. Too. He wants us to go faster. <laughs> He's given us to move on. <laughs> Play some music. <laughs> I'll wait for that all to be signed. Okay. Uh, request for determination of applicability. Daniel Andrade, Andre Construction, 147 South Street West, map 14, partial 127. Anybody here for that? And tear sheet adjustment. Oh. Thank you. Oh, let me just Okay, I saw it. Yeah, I just, I just, just did check the, the date. What's the date? Okay, you get it there. Monday the 23rd. I fixed it. Okay, good. Yeah. I won't even charge. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, anybody else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so I should read this piece here right. All well, public hearings and meetings heard by the Rain and Conservation Commission on Wednesday, July 2nd, 2014 at 5.30 p.m. in the Rain and Veterans Memorial Town Hall. <coughs> Town Hall committee meeting room, 558 South Main Street, Rain and Mass, or Alpha 2, filing to join here and attend our meetings under Mass Journal Laws, Chapter 131, Section 40, as amended in the Town of Rain and Wetland Protection Bylaw. In accordance with the Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 131, Section 40, in the Town of Rainham Local Bylaw, the Rainham Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on Wednesday, July 2nd, 2014, at 5.30 p.m. in the Donald L. McKinnon Meeting Room in the Rainham Veterans Memorial Town Hall at 558 South Main Street, Rainham Mass, on a request for determination of applicability filed by Andrade Construction, LLC, 68 North Main Street, Rainham Mass, 02767. The applicant requests the determination for site work asso associated with construction of two office warehouse facilities with grading about two feet from the isolated land subject to the flooding boundary at the closest point and whether it is subject to jurisdiction under the Wetlands Protection Act and the Town of Rainham Wetland Bylaw. The property is owned by Andrade Construction, LLC, and located at 147 South Street West, Rainham Mass, 02767 and map 14, lot 27. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the commission. My name is Ed Brennan. I'm an attorney with an office at One Church Green in Taunton. I represent the uh, petitioner, Andre Construction, LLC. Uh, with me tonight is uh, Paul and Karen Patnode from Earth Services, the civil engineers that have uh, designed the project. Uh, by way of a little bit of background, this is uh, located at 147 South Street West. It's 1.8 acres plus or minus of land. Uh, it abuts the win and win parking lot, uh, if, if for just to orientate you where it is. Uh, the proposal has gone through the review of the planning board for site plan review. Uh, 
and received its approval and the review of uh, Beals and Thomas, its consulting engineers. Uh, when we looked at the plan, uh, we didn't have any jurisdictional issues under the Wetland Protection Act as the, the body of water that there is isolated land subject to flooding. Uh, when we look at the local bylaw, uh, on your Section 2D uh, would give jurisdiction uh, to this commission on issues within 100 feet of flooding or inundation by groundwater or surface water. So when we looked at what this body of water was, uh, it, it's really storage capacity. Uh, it's not uh, a bordering vegetative wetland. It's uh, isolated land subject to flooding. So we're not doing anything uh, to affect the the capacity of this. We're not encroaching in any way upon the borders of this isolated land. We came before the commission in May, I believe it was May of 2012, and we had that line accepted, uh, the, the, the bounds of the isolated land subject to flooding accepted by the commission on an RDA. Uh, so the, the bound has been determined. Uh, we're not going into that bound in any manner where we would affect the capacity of it. We're not encroaching or filling in any way. Uh, so when we looked at it, we thought maybe it would be appropriate to come for an RDA where the commission could determine that you, have, you may have jurisdiction under Section 2D, uh, but we're not doing anything that would affect uh, encroaching in any way in or upon the boundaries of that uh, isolated land. So we would be asking for the board to determine that uh, I believe one of the uh, possibilities under the RDA uh, is that the board could determine, uh, let's see which one it was, uh, that the work described in the request is within a buffer zone, that being the 100 feet of the isolated land subject to flooding, uh, but not alter that area and therefore you could issue a negative determination. As you can see, we're close to the bound, but we're not into the bound. Uh, so I think the sole jurisdiction would be under the commission, not under the act, and we would ask for the negative determination. I, I can, you know, I, I know I'm repeating myself, but it was extensively reviewed by Beals and Thomas on the, on the planning board side. We went through a lot of review uh, at that time for the engineering of the project. The, the nature of the project is going to be commercial rental storage units for contractors. Uh, and there'll be eventually two buildings of about 7,400 square feet each. So we'd be asking for the negative determination. Yeah, actually, you were, this is the one that I was telling Gil, um, why did they file uh, uh, with us? Because uh, the si session that he, uh, well, attorney, you were, Brennan is referring to this doesn't actually meet that. Okay. All right. So, so uh, uh, it's so a non-jurisdictional. You're saying we don't have. No, we don't have any jurisdiction on it. So it would be it would be actually a negative four. The work described in the request is now within an area subject to protection under the act, including the buffer zone. Okay. Therefore, said work does not require the final of Good questions on that. No. Um, okay. Sorry. Uh, do I get, can I get a motion yeah. then? I'll make a motion that we issue a, a negative termination for. Yes. Yeah. And I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Thank you very Thank you. much. And again, happy fourth. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Oops, I'll call it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, okay, we it, huh? well, but if we don't have any jurisdictions, it's, yeah, it's, it's nothing. Right. We'll, we'll be uh, informed. I'll be happy. Yeah, you can, you can talk to them about yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Thank you again. We don't have any contracts. Mm. So it's nothing for us to. Again, I have it all set to go because uh, meetings are so far apart in the, in the summertime. So, so you anticipate it. I anticipate, so it doesn't have to go for four weeks. <laughs> you know, other meetings, I like holding until the next yes. meeting in two but weeks, but not in the summertime. That's yeah. too, long a time, too long a time. But if there's no jurisdiction, there's no public mm -hmm. input. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
And I think, you know what I think it is? You want to. They were gone shy with what happened with 1084. 1084 Broadway. Right, yeah. They live, live in, live in a, she said living. Oh, right, where, right, right, right. Okay, uh, well, so they're like, well, we better, you know, so we don't better. They're not a gun shy. That's yeah. all. Better, just better the air on the side of the car. Mm -hmm. Paul, can I have that on the back too, please? Oh. Yep, yep, and the map. <laughs> I have to collect everything. Thank you. Okay, any other business? Gail, um, do you know in um, our last, when do we have to file for uh, articles for the fall town meeting? I have not gotten that information yet. Understood. Randy well. usually lets, let me, lets us know when we're, when they start taking articles. Okay. Um, and you could probably pre stop preparing it if you'd like. There's no well, issue without preparing. I was going to bring up what, the, what some, we, some of the signage. Right. If we, what we uh, can do is put put you on the agenda for the next meeting, and you can walk us through the various properties and what you're proposing to do okay. and what you're going to send into the town requesting funds. Right, the next meeting is, uh, is not until August 6th, and I won't be here at that one. Okay. I'll be in Indiana. Uh, about the uh, one after that. Is that, a, is that a pressing issue? When was, well, that's when why I was asking about the... Uh, I, don't know well, I don't even know if there's a date set yet for the November meeting. That's the whole... Yeah, uh, well, I shouldn't even say November. Uh, for the next well, what you meeting. could do... I just, yeah, have I just to have, the, they have to have two annual. Right, right. right. No, but I, I don't know what the date is either. Properties real quick. But it's usually in... It's usually somewhere in November, correct? That's what I'm thinking, yes. Yeah, it's usually like the second. Well, we could cover it under, under the other if, we want, if you want to walk through some of the... You can do it, yeah. Under other information. Yeah, it shouldn't take long because I passed out the information. Uh, so, last um, our last meeting, I passed out the uh, the properties that are officially owned by the town, and then earmarked to conservation. Uh, there are several uh, properties that were in question that we thought were conservation, okay. but are not conservation, and some that okay. we didn't even know existed that are conservation. Um, so, I outlined about five different properties that had the potential. Um, for us to mark as conservation land and get some of the signage made up and, and put up. Um, I don't. That's the five. That's the five plans there. Here, okay. um, I don't know if we want to do all five. I know one of them is kind of landlocked over on um, uh, off of King Philip and uh, Britain Street. Um, it only abuts the the railroad bed, the old railroad bed, and there's really no access in there. Soon to um, be active railroad bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, soon. Yeah, you know, eventually it, it'll be an active railroad bed, um, <laughs> and there really is no access to mark anything in there. So that one be That's with, this one here. That would be probably be one that we want to take off the table to consider. Okay. Um, spending the resources and marking since it's landlocked. That's land the one that's having all the issues with That it? is one that's having all the issues. That's the only reason I put it on as one of the properties. I didn't know if we wanted to. That's where the kids are riding. The yeah, right. The yeah. I didn't know if they, we want to try to get some other signage up or if it's going to fall on deaf ears. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I didn't know. I, I don't think it, it, it warrants the big signage, you know, town of Raynham, conservation area, uh, but it may warrant a smaller sign because um, there's not going to be any vehicle traffic at the site. Mm. Uh, there may be ATV traffic, or <laughs> but there won't be any uh, vehicle traffic. So uh, we might want to discuss that one um, at a future date um, and just concentrate right now on signage for that will be seen from the street. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the other our locations was um, the Dora Pine Trail mm -hmm. out here at the, uh, at the uh, Iron Anchor on 104. Yep, right. um, Many people don't even know it's there, so that would probably. The sign's not big enough. The sign's not big enough. The sign's probably about the size of this piece of paper. And it's on a and it's, and it's on a tree. Back? It's set back. It's real yeah. back. Yeah. It's set at the tree line. You got to go so, in there. So now that would definitely be a location to uh, get a sign closer to the road. Who, who maintains that trail up there? Do you know? I, I think highway does. They go in there once a year. Last time I, I heard. Yes, that's what I heard too. Um, so that would be an area that I, I, I would push forward for a recommendation for the signage there, close closer to uh, the street. Closer to South Maine. Um, you, so you'll need, have to do it again with highway to make sure you don't block last site from the roads and stuff. Right, no, absolutely. Um, the other one would be uh, Hewitt's Pond. There actually is a, currently a sign up there. Uh, but it's, as, old, it's old, it's weathered, and uh, the poles are actually in place already. I, you know, I would say keep the poles there and just affix a new sign to it. Okay. Uh, once we get a standardized sign and a standardized uh, a format, that would be my other recommendation. The two other properties is there is a um, set of uh, conservation land over on Warren Street. Um, if you leave here and hang a right onto Orchard, as you um, then hang a right onto Warren, right on the left-hand side, there's another set of property there that belongs to conservation that 
goes all the way up to Route 24. Um, I don't know if that's high enough traffic area for us to warrant a sign at, but that's another possibility. And uh, the fourth possibility is in the same direction, um, right at the Orchard Street past the police station in uh, Keith, um, Katie. Uh, yes, Kitty Court is over on the left. And right in the cul-de-sac. Are, are, are those accessible, even if they're, they're accessible they are accessible. From the street? They are but, accessible. But if they're not uh, um, walking trails or anything else in there, what? What's and that's the thing, I ha I've never walked it. I know uh, at Katie Court, if you go to the cul-de-sac, there's only about th uh, three houses on the whole street. Yeah. Cul-de-sac, there is an access path that leads f farther back. It actually abuts the back of that pond that's on Orchard Street. And actually, the, pr and, uh, the property actually stretches all the way out to Route 24. So that's probably the largest. I think it totals That's possibly about 20, uh, 26 acres, 26 acres 31 of land, acres, 31 acres. It's probably right. the largest one. Maybe just for you know, designation purposes to put up a sign, I mean, to let, it, let people know that that land does belong to conservation. Because mm -hmm. uh, those yeah, four areas, at least, you can get a vehicle right up to the property. You can, yes, you can yes, park on the edge of the road. Yes, you can, yeah. yeah. And once you get these things marked out, then you can go on the call and stuff like that right. and, and, and start publicizing and it make, so yeah. maybe people would use the property as what they're intended for. Right. And get the scouts and in want to put a, a, a walking trail project. through there. It could yeah. become exactly. a scout project. Scout yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. We, we always get yeah. Eagle Scouts in here yeah. looking sure. for projects. And they may want to cut in a walking trail. Yeah. yeah. You know? yeah. 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 So those are the four that I, I would recommend to put forward in doing something with, with signage to at least get the signage up. Um, so the towns, you know, the people in the town and the residents know that those are conservation areas. They Did are probably marked. Ballpark figures. Well, well, we haven't gone into that, but have you uh, yourself uh, got any ballpark figures on what, say, one sign would? Uh, I I got an, an average uh, sign price. Um, some of the poly signs that are being put up around town, uh, like one of the signs at Saint Anne's Church, which is completely it looks wood, but it's actually all poly. Yeah. Um, so yes. it'll never uh, it'll never rot. Which is which is kind of like the long term thing we're looking for. We look probably about uh, around three hundred dollars for sign. for probably a four by six sign, a one sided sign. So, so we're, not, and, we're not looking for a great deal. No, no, no. Um, and at Hewitt's Pond, there's already the uh, the poles, the sign poles already in place, so we can right. we use the same poles. But it, but it's not again coming out of the conservation budget. But it would come out of town funds because we'd make we'd a warrant. An, uh, yes, we'd be submitting an article into the warrant. And right. No, no, I understand that. But so I you'd have to go to the town meeting and defend that. Correct. Thing. Correct. We would write the warrant. Right. The right. warrant yeah, would yeah. be uh, presented uh, through the conservation commission um, yeah. at the fall town meeting. Okay. And if there is any questions before that, then I could stand up at the microphone and uh, talk to people through it. Okay. Might we access? Now that these fees that are coming in, might we access some of that fee money for future projects? Not necessarily. You, you can, but it goes to a general fund. So we'd have to petition. Like you have to the, uh, Kind of like we already signed. To get the money anyway. Oh. You'd have to submit an article. And then the money that you can use the fact that they're collecting money as an argument to support your article. Right. Support what we could do is if there's an issue with money for funding, we can say, well, we brought in this much revenue. To offset that cost, oh, okay. revenue right. that was not existence right. before our budget. We cannot. It's not. A, it's not have a budget. fund, a conservation no. fund type. There's no money in our budget. So that money just goes into the general the general, general fund. Yeah, oh, okay. Money that you can take it when you are looking at is the reserve account that you collect through the State Wetlands Protection Act. Okay. Right. Because you have two separate fee structures. Right. But that oh, requires yeah. a special. That still requires a special town meeting. And, and it's restricted. It's right, restricted right. on what it can be used for. Right. Thought about or looked into uh, maybe doing um, signage through the uh, regional schools. Um, I did, but I <laughs> backed up like crazy. Yeah, I I, I think the, the regional schools are so utilized for that type of project and other projects that they are so behind. Um, I think I actually, if it came it came before this commission, I think two years ago that they were going to try to replace the sign at the Raynham State Forest on Locust Street through that same yeah. avenue, yeah. and that sign has still not gone up. It might be on a, a work order on somebody's desk, and I think if you're in the freshman class, you may see the project come before you before <laughs> your <laughs> senior year. You're right. They do that. Um, so, and, 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 yeah, and again, um, I think uh, Francis Gordon. Is it Francis Gordon? Um, the, 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 uh, other uh, um, the Chibbert, Gladys Gordon. 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 Gladys
And we it, approved it. It took it over to yeah. BP, I think. Yeah. And we approved it. And there it still sits. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. They're, that's, yes, they're so yes, backed yes, up. Yes, yes, yes. So, and the, the downfall yeah. with the wooden signs is eventually they're going to need maintenance, the wooden signs. Yeah. There's poly ones. Well, I mean, they, they have the new technology, too. They might have that. Do I need to vote on any of this? Probably not, yeah. because it's yeah. just within the commission. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's go forward with that. What with those four. If everybody sites. agrees that that's yep. something oh, yeah. we want to oh, do. Yeah. So for the next meeting, I'll try to get a, a standardized um, a template of what we want each sign to look like, so we have the uniformity yes. between the different yes. sites. So yes. it's not. One sign is three lines, the next one seven lines. Right. We'll, have, we'll have some standard and uniformity. Right. And we'll have to name these partials. Correct. Like the okay. Dora Pine Train's right. already named. And uh, Hewitt's uh, already, Hewitt's already named. The other, the other two are not. Correct. And what we'll need is an estimated cost. I wouldn't <laughs> name it after you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that has to be posthumously, though. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then we, then we need an estimate of the cost so that when we go to the town the with the warrant, we know what the Correct. exact money is we're Correct. looking for. At least now we're at least on the right path yes. that we know yes. we're going to yes. work on four sites, four signs, and now we can get the prices there. <laughs> Are you ready for another motion? Okay. Uh, one more item to cover, okay. right. sir. Um, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to just talk about the order of conditions that we issued, the standard issue. It's, it's a new fiscal year. Um, I'm going through them, and we're not as strict as we should be, and I'd like to get a whole lot stricter. Okay. There are so many things in the standard conditions, like um, a building permit, when it's presented to conservation, <coughs> is supposed to have a photocopy of the order of conditions that we have issued, along with the building permit, before it says the conservation the, agent or anybody else signs. That have been filed. Right. It's already been filed. They've okay. got the number. They've recorded it and all of that. It's supposed to be attached to the building permit okay. when it comes to us. And we're not seeing that. We're not seeing it. Okay. There are a whole, there's a, a few other things in here. Um, let's see. Of course, we've, we've gotten through the, pet, the 10 days, the um, business days. Then they, then they can go and record it, and then it comes back to us. Is Copy of the order on site, that, that's another one that's not mm -hmm. being enforced. Um, they're supposed to let us know when 48 hours in advance when they are going to start work, any yeah. work on the property. And we're not getting that. We get a handful of it. So I think this is a new fiscal year, and I think new commission, you no know, chairman, and all of that, and we'll just start fresh. And this uh, is what I would like to no. say. This is what you need before we're even going to look sign them. That and they handed them. that packet with all that. They and I give them an extra copy of yeah. it. Okay. Well, you know what it is? Is you give people of, uh, they get the approvals and boom, boom. Yeah. Well, they think it's they you know, oh, this is a nuisance, uh, you know, yeah. well, and then and then that. and then they start rushing. And, and they uh, don't even wait the 10 days. And they don't even read it. Yeah. I, I truly believe it. they're not even reading it. Yeah. So, so, so it, we're not looking to change anything. We're just looking no. to enforce no, what's already in place. Just enforcing. Get, let's get stricter with the enforcement right, of right. an order of condition. What we have on paper. What we already have. They, every order of condition gets issued this, this yes, sheet, yep. a standard. I hear you, yep. And then, like tonight, there was the specials that Azul put in. Every order gets this. So it's all there in black and white, yeah, including the, like the asking that, for a certificate of compliance. Uh, uh, compliance. Like the guy that I uh, called on uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Noblini on um, Teresa. Teresa, you know, I mean, they've had the, that they had the order of conditions. They knew what it was, and the first time they sold the property, I guess the attorneys didn't catch it, so it went through. Now Nin the, the current attorney, yeah, 1998. So that's what. Of our uh, 16 can't years. Sell it unless he has to yeah, yeah right, right. You know. So what do we need to do? I just want just you to I know. I like those so that they understand it. Well, they don't, no, 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 I just we're, want we're you to know I'm going to do it. We're, we're getting at it. Yes. If 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 we are saying to people when they call or show up, no, you got to do this here. We don't want our people going. Oh well, geez, I talked to Kevin and Kevin said it's okay, and you know what I'm saying. Just basically backing that, hey, this is what your order says you're going to do. My, this is what I'm going to be doing my job now. I want you to know in case someone comes so, to you so and say, I'm giving you them a hard time. Yeah, or, no, right. But we yeah, don't have a running. new building commission yet. That job's still posted, right? True. True. So how do we let the building commission will, know that will, this is the standard that we're going to yeah. hold them I to? Will turn to? I will talk to Jen. Yeah. Okay. okay. I will tell Jen what's going to go on. And, okay. and I, I will give her right. a copy yeah. of what. There's nothing new there. It's Exactly. Well, well, you had, a, you had a, a, two good examples on, on, on the South East where, where 
you know, people come in here and then they go, oh, gee, I got a buyer. Well, gee, you know what your order of condition says you got to do? And then you're in the, in the middle of, you just got an order of conditions and you're changing a plan. Yeah. And, and, they, and, and then you're changing the plan. to sign off. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So it's just, just so you're aware that this is what I am right. going okay. to be well, putting into practice. Absolutely. And again, we've had. And, and, the, the, and it's in the record now. Right. And, yes. going to and over the years, you know. I mean, just the biggest thing is. I know I attempt to get into some of the minor stuff. If we come in to sign a building permit, remind us, hey, you mm -hmm. can't sign it until yes, exactly. this is done. Exactly. And it may hold up the building permit for a few more days, but you know what? This is what they're supposed well, to be doing. Yeah, no. This is what we've got to get well, done. If, right. if you go to closing and you don't have those people, mm -hmm. you know, you're know, you not going to close. That's right. Exactly. So, so exactly. this is part of what you are required to do. Actually, we're helping them. Exactly. We really are. We are. Exactly. Because they're going to run into it sooner or later. Exactly. Okay. Anything else? Any other concerns, problems, questions? Oh, problems will be here all night. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. So moved. Amen. Thanks, guys.